Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, sacred star shifters of our earth and sky nations of the new Jerusalem. In cosmic consciousness, we merge heaven and earth through our sacred heart centers to usher in the new heaven upon the new earth. In these final moments of the old false 3D matrix, we completely release and let go of everything that no longer serves the highest good of all our tribe, of our rainbow nation of new earth. In divine communion, we realize the true nature of our multidimensional sacred self of infinite light. All starseed earth angelics, we shall be released in this now from all slavery systems of manipulation and control with the power of our almighty i am presence and in the mind of buddha we resolve all things perfectly for all sentient beings of the way in pure awareness we rise together into the new golden age of eternal bliss consciousness of the infinite way a whole Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful divine prayer to the seven sacred flames. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 25 degrees, 8 minutes Aquarius. The sun is at 18 degrees, 2 minutes Gemini. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 19 degrees Gemini. A large archaic volume reveals a traditional wisdom. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 26 degrees Aquarius. A garage man testing a car's battery with a hydrometer from astrologyweekly.com and from divine sister of the light valerie a elster seeing the next level of refractions layers of rainbow plasma coming in activating our light body with new codes of creation from valerieelster.com and today from divine sister of the light emma ross in the blink of an eye all will be changed forever so continue unconditionally loving yourself and others through all of the old ways of being and experiences showing up and watch it all dissolve. Transmuting in progress, we shift as a whole. By the end of June, all of humanity will be on the highest timeline. All merged, what needs to go will go. Remember, heart open, courageously keep moving forward with compassion. This is also how we open the hearts of others, the awakening, the remembrance, returning back to wholeness, oneness, love. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Celia Fenn, 333, flowing in, the two layers of old earth and new earth. As summer opens out in the northern hemisphere, we can clearly see the two levels or layers on earth. The old that is becoming increasingly dystopian and the new which is returning to the original template for sacred earth or new earth. At the moment there is a large scale air pollution in New York City and the east coast of the USA and a large scale flooding in southeastern Ukraine as a result of the destruction of a dam near Kherson. Nature is showing us where we need to do better and create a new reality and a new earth. As new earth humans and angelic humans, we can work with our angelic families and with the elementals of nature to bring balance back to the earth. Archangel Michael says to remember the balance that you are and that you can hold the balance in your heart. Work with the sylphs, air and undines, water, to bring balance and healing to the planet. Hold peace and love and harmony in your heart so that it may create these energies on earth. May peace prevail on earth. From the fire may the phoenix arise. May all things be reborn to a higher frequency. 
from the water may there be cleansing and the return of love may the new earth be born in the hearts of humanity and on earth much love and safety to all my light family in the affected areas of usa and ukraine from celiafen.com and today from divine sister of the light jennifer hoffman i said the big energy shift we had this week ended today and it did with a bang we had a 120 reading on the schumann resonance chart yesterday plus a few big m-class solar flares i was out driving a few hours ago and thinking about how different the energy felt my guide showed me a huge glacier which represented 3d and a huge chunk of it broke off and floated away this represents the falling away of the amount of energetic space that 3d was occupying in the earth grid this is the 3d that was never going to integrate 5d or ascend so it is no longer able to survive in the fully integrated 3d to 5d paradigm this change in the earth's energetic balance is a profound shift and you may be feeling it it also means that those of you who have been engaged in spiritual work and have been light warriors for the past few decades may start feeling a nudge to do something else now if that's the case be open to change i am feeling this shift today with a sense of profound peace and excitement as well as anticipation for the new energy and opportunities that it opens up how are you feeling today from enlighteninglife.com and today from divine energy works the energies of the six six portal of ascension and full moon in sagittarius that took place on june third and fourth have created an extremely powerful energy vortex delivering the galactic bursts of very high frequency energy that are bringing in the new earth codes of awakening and ascension this is being reflected on the schumann resonance reading with yesterday's amplitude power 120 the maximum this year these energies are carrying a lot of information and upgrades for those on the higher ascension path including dna upgrades upgrades to our entire chakra system to restructure to the 5d chakra column nervous system upgrades assisting and shifting to the higher state of consciousness and causing changes on the cellular level clearing old timelines old patterns and cycles on the very deep subconscious level we are receiving so much information inspiration and creativity increase in the ascension symptoms are very likely at this time both on the emotional and physical levels as we rapidly change the density of our bodies and shift into the higher frequencies of consciousness tiredness muscle tension and aches back and neck pain headaches and migraines head pressure heart palpitations indigestion hot flashes pain behind the eyes tingling in the arms hands and feet anxiety sadness increased sensitivity irritability feeling overwhelmed and vivid dreams and today from divine sis star of the light sandra walter gentle and profound heart shifting consciousness expanding waves the air fills like plasma full of crystalline harmonics this realm shifting gateway is open through the solstice right now massive waves of new light are activating gaia's crystalline core emanating pure celestial frequencies master crystals are releasing crystalline sonic frequencies for our ascension feel the waves this week as they intensify the light is anticipated to make another jump in acceleration this month whirling and weightlessness sensations felt due to the magnetic core shifts celestial light body upgrades and a lot of plate activity conscious higher choices focus on your desired outcome let these freedom and bliss waves wash away the illusion of density many crossing the crystalline bridge infinite christ heart and dna plus new cosmic light to a new consciousness in this now infinite love light blessings to all sandra walter from ascensionpath.com from divine brother of the light michael love the event 2023 impending ufo et disclosure 
a special earth alliance space briefing to the star seeds of earth begin transmission great one over the past forty eight hours the earth alliance has witnessed a significant surge in the high level internal discussions on a global scale pointing towards an imminent disclosure of the ufo et phenomenon to the world as extraordinary as this may sound we assure you with utmost certainty that an authentic and verifiable scenario is currently unfolding involving many reputable groups and individuals who are authorized to unveil this information to the world since its emergence yesterday morning this revelation has already generated a noticeable increase in global internet searches related to the topic of disclosure for nearly a century the knowledge that humanity is not alone in the universe has been unjustly concealed by those in power on earth even some of the most influential figures in the world including national leaders have been denied access to these highly classified and undisclosed projects eleven eleven coming in however a noticeable shift has occurred in this paradigm of secrecy governments including the american congress are now actively engaging in public discussions addressing the potential implications of this long-awaited disclosure concrete actions are being taken and scheduled hearings are poised to address the magnitude of this matter head-on this time the full truth will emerge publicly and humanity will be transformed in a profound and positive way it is important to emphasize that the truth about the ufo et phenomenon is not emerging at this time due to a sudden change of heart by some elite beings nor is it part of a deceptive false flag operation aimed at harming humanity such deceitful tactics no longer find fertile ground on our planet as the higher frequencies permeate earth's atmosphere this profound disclosure is happening solely because the continuous influx of powerful and high vibrational light has reached unprecedented levels on earth propelling humanity towards swift awakening what was once concealed in darkness is now being unveiled revealing the true essence of all things this moment in history is extraordinary as it marks the beginning of humanity's long-awaited grand ascension event it heralds a conscious evolutionary leap and the liberation of our planet ushering in a new golden age according to recent earth alliance intel a comprehensive ninety-day plan commenced on six six twenty twenty three with the primary objective of fully disclosing the ufo et phenomenon to the public through mainstream channels the implications of this disclosure are truly awe-inspiring particularly considering the advanced technology derived from crashed extraterrestrial crafts this astounding technology is believed to surpass humanity's current capabilities by over one thousand years and after its disclosure humankind will be propelled into an era of profound transformation and growth a pivotal question arises is humanity genuinely prepared to hear and cope with this astonishing revelation the pleiadians affirm the resounding answer is yes they simply say it is the appointed time for this to happen and humankind is ready to integrate this cosmic knowledge it is basic human nature to seek honesty and truthfulness and as collective consciousness expands and individuals awaken there is a growing recognition that the time for truth and disclosure has finally arrived what we know for certain is that you will bear witness to truly astonishing events in the coming weeks and months we encourage you to conduct your own investigation into the twenty twenty three ufo et disclosure and follow its unfolding spread the good news with the entire world take the best care of yourself during this transformative time godspeed michael and the pleiadians from five d earth project dot com one forty four flowing in and from divine sister of the light erini from crystal and indigo guide to the galaxy 
Athens, June 8th, 2023, male twins that were in stasis are re-entering the game. The green light for the bodies of certain twin counterparts, living divine creators and heirs that were in stasis, has been turned on. This is especially for certain male ones as many of the female have already done this process or will soon. This means that the information that these bodies were holding while in stasis will be now available to their human avatars in the game and this will cause monumental shiftings in the awareness and remembrance in those avatars. The process of returning back from stasis is encoded inside those that have such bodies connected to them and cannot be given from an outside source. It is a natural one and it is usually being initiated by one of the twins when the right time has come. Certain keys have been retrieved and the proper codes have been achieved. The process of rebirthing that is now collectively taking place is actually connected to the awakening of certain bodies in stasis. There will be more awakening in the future, but for now a certain number are ready and the plans of change have begun for them. The awakening of the male bodies will be very different than the females. It will be experienced like unseen water running in the grids, but next it will appear as a force like thunder that will cause great shifts in the physical reality. Because of this, many unaware, still in oblivion and forgetfulness, will experience sudden and shocking events of redirection and necessary repositioning out of their previous reality and into a brand new life flow that will have nothing to do with the old one. Blessings of love, Erini, Hunama, Anata, Kumara. From Divine Sistar of the Light, Aluna Joy Yashkin. Since the full moon on June 3rd, we have entered some very strong detox energy. I am not referring to a physical detox, I am referring to an emotional and literal detox of our collective consciousness. We are in a hall of mirrors, and we cannot escape facing all the illusions that are still in our collective matrix of belief systems. It might feel like we are not making any progress at all. In fact, it might feel like we are losing ground and floundering. We might even wonder if we are going to make it. But we are going to make it. We are just doing necessary foundation work for our future, so I am told by the Star Elders, as they can only watch us navigate this time. Update, later on June 7th, we had a near-class ex-solar flare, as the Kilauea volcano on the big island of Hawaii has erupted. This is one of the heart pumps for the two major ley lines on Earth, the Rainbow Serpent Ley Line and the Plumed Serpent Ley Line all while we entered the second pulse of the supernova ascension portal. First, we must remember we did sign up for this shift of an age while maintaining our human spacesuit. We signed up for entering this new world completely blindfolded. This time is feeling more like the ultimate escape room. We are working to escape the old world so as to enter the one that is now emerging. We can all feel that this new world exists if it wasn't there, we all would have given up by now, or never would have begun the search at all. Just the fact that we are striving forward in all this uncertainty is proof that there is something new just ahead for us all. Our visions and intentions are strong and unshakable by any outside force on earth. Unconsciously and unfortunately, while we are sleeping, a lot of our energy is being expelled to armor against this new incoming but unknown energy. Anything that is out of the ordinary or unusual or considered abnormal to our human spacesuit will be considered as an outside threat if it is or not. Unless we are super conscious, we have very little control over what our body's autopilot does while we are sleeping. We can easily wake up tired, confused, and turned upside down, or we may not sleep well at all. We all have our well-stocked spiritual toolboxes by now, but here are a few quick suggestions to help train your consciousness to be open to the new frequencies. 
Before sleep, it is helpful to talk to your body like it is a scared child, because it is. Tell your body that it is safe, it is healthy, it is strong. Also, it is helpful to fall asleep with your gratefulness checklist running through your mind. Just knowing that you have a roof over your head, food on your table, and a way to hear this transmission. You are an extremely privileged human being compared to the whole of humanity. I like to sit with the memory of a favorite sacred site that made me feel glorious. Also, EFT technique for releasing stuck energy in the body is helpful. There are many simple videos on YouTube. Also, playing high-frequency music with a little meditation before you close your eyes can help. I like 528 Hz music myself. You can find this type of music on YouTube and Spotify easily. Find one that works for you. Also, please share what's working for you in the comments section. We can all benefit from your insights. During our waking hours, it is becoming painfully clear the games we play with ourselves and the games others are playing to try to control us. Pay attention to these things and learn from them. If we are remembering them and feeling them, we are healing them. Our fantasies and dreams that are not based on future reality will begin to fade away, and the true reality of who we are and what we are here to do will begin to rise up. Keep in mind that what we are here to do could very well feel more like a fantasy than a reality right now. But I have been told over and over that our future world could be a complete and total surprise, and this is more likely the case than not. For pure altruistic or empathic ones, it might be painfully clear about the lies we have been telling ourselves in order to stay in situations that are not healthy as well as all the places where we have not loved or valued ourselves as much as we value others. We are learning to have stronger boundaries. This isn't an act of protection, it is an act of self-love. Destruction is noisy, so clairsentient ones, this time could be overwhelming and mentally noisy as the chaos in the collective consciousness dies to the old ways and leaves clear space for the new ones to rise simultaneously. We are starting to merge with the new frequencies of the new earth right now. Because we have never experienced this energy or frequency before, it's almost impossible for us to see or understand it for what it is or what we are to do with it. We are like a newborn baby who has just enrolled in a college level class. At this point, a lot of us are feeling like we are barely treading water. But then again, there are these awesome, brilliant moments of intense clarity. What a blessing these times are. Yet the vacillation between these two extremes is hard to navigate and can certainly mess with our confidence and self-esteem but it is also triggering us to work harder and be more diligent and more conscious. Soul weariness is at an all-time high. Pace yourself, rest, hydrate, and anything you can do that can ease your way through is okay. We may vacillate between a healthy diet and binging on ice cream, meditating like crazy, to binging on Netflix, being in nature as much as possible, or hunkering down indoors like a hermit. The only reason you think one is better than the other is your judgment and your belief system. Keep in mind this is a highly simplified example of a non-dualistic mindset that is extremely complex, yet incredibly simple if we just surrender and trust the flow of life. Remember, if you're in a human spacesuit at this time, if you like it or not, you are in the ascension process. You did not miss the boat, so to speak. If we accept this passage with divine grace, it will make the journey more of an adventure than a curse. When we finally quit unconsciously fighting the new frequencies, which at this point feel like foreign invaders to our primal 3D body, it will get easier. The only way out is through deep surrender and a total liberation of the false ego into the light. This is a step-by-step -step process. Each person will discover the steps they need to take. Each step will be unique. We were never meant to be all the same like society would have preferred us to be. Neat, tidy, and predictable. 
we are all completely and totally unique human beings with varied focuses and paths when we all live from our true authentic selves this is when we will begin knowing what this new earth is going to look like together with all our unique pieces we will create a great picture a knowing a way a path into this new world aluna joy yashkin and the star elders from alunajoy.com okay let's take a moment get into the heart center take a deep breath i'm going to truncate the heart sutra of guan yin to activate your heart center in this now Avalokitesvara, the Bodhisattva of compassion, clearly saw that the five skandhas are empty. No eyes, no ears, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind, no seeing, no hearing, no thinking, no world of sight, no world of consciousness. Emptiness is form, form is emptiness. Gate gate para gate para sam gate bodhisvaha. That is the short version of the Heart Sutra we would chant in the Zen temple and monastery after meditation. I'll put a link in the description below to that I recorded many moons ago. Namaste. Now we continue from Divine Brother of the Light, Richard Red, Gene Keys, Unlocking the Higher Purpose Hidden in Your DNA. Gene Key 45, Cosmic Communion. June 8th through the 13th, 2023, Dominance, Synergy, Communion. Synergy is a word we often apply to a group dynamic that's functioning smoothly, that's buzzing and creative. Once we realize that we no longer need to compete with each other to survive, the next stage is figuring out how to work together. This is a great challenge, and the 45th Gene Key is adept at this. Richard Rudd's 64 Ways. And from the Yi Ching, the classic book of change, Hexagram 45, Gathering Together, Lake forms atop the fertile earth, Water returns to serenity, we all drink together the vital nectar of life. Communion is the bliss of unity. Synergy is the vitality of orientation. Dominance is the dissatisfaction of dislocation. The elation of receptivity. When forces are gathering, the king goes to his ancestral temple. For successful progress, maintain firm correctness and see the great man. A large sacrifice brings good fortune. From GeneKeys.com And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Carolyn 144, God Code. You are ascending to the top, crowned with success. You've conquered many challenges to get to the top, while others will fall to the bottom. Stay on course. Be gentle with yourself, as this has birthed another massive awakening. Stay faithful in prayer and receive God's comfort as you walk the path of the initiate. Keep planning for the future while the past is being left behind. Rest and ground any time that fears and pain try to distract you. Rely on your spirit team that is with you, providing all that you need. In Jesus Christus name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn, from 144godco.com and from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Colleen Lemma. Today, the moon, ruler of our subconscious, is in unpredictable Aquarius, and will be connecting by sextile to Chiron, ruler of healing old soul wounds, and creating a difficult square to both Uranus, ruler of upheaval and sudden change in Mercury, planet that rules perceptions and verbal expression. We may find today that our thoughts and emotions are challenged, Perhaps we feel stuck in a pattern or belief system. Communications may be strange, unusual, rebellious, or extreme. People could have sudden reactions in situations and circumstances and hold nothing back as they speak their mind. This energy all revolves around the idea of freedom, independence, and nonconformity. We desire originality, equality, fairness, and innovation. Progression, breakthroughs, inspiration, and higher awareness 
both for ourselves and from others around us. So focus on freeing yourself emotionally, mentally, and physically if needed from the energies that hold you back from your authentic truth. Blessings of love and light to all. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Venus in Leo, Square North Node in Taurus, and South Node in Scorpio. We reach a crossroads in our evolutionary journey. Something about a relationship, money, or values pushes us to a, turn a corner. There is an opportunity to step up on life stage, dance to your own tune, live the life you love, but first there are fears to be faced or power dynamics to address. Maybe it's just that it's time to let go of trying to control everything. Maybe it's time to trust. Trust is hard, especially if there has been rejection or betrayal in the past. But we can't afford to hide our hearts for fear of what might happen. The cost of doubt, suspicion, and insecurity is too high. When you live in your light, it is easier to ascertain truth. To know who and what is good for you, come back to center. Asteroid Ariadne sits beside Venus. She throws a ball of thread to help lead us out of the maze. Ariadne knows what it is to have been abandoned, to have faced ingratitude and outright rejection. But it is through this darkness that she found her light. Follow the golden path back to yourself. Let love be your guide. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 126, White Solar World Bridger. Solar is the name for the number 9 and its key words are intention, pulse, and realize. The ninth day of the white mirror wave spell is a day of reckoning. Often we don't really look ahead in the calendar to see what is coming, and then it arrives spectacularly and takes us by surprise. Why am I being so dramatic? Let's look at the components that make up this day. First of all, in any of the twenty wave spells that we journey through, the ninth day is always the peak, the climax of the journey. It has so much power it's hard to handle. We are seeking truth in this 13-day wave spell, and so the ninth day is when the truth will be revealed, smacking you in the gob. Today is White World Bridger, which represents death, equality, and opportunity, and so the ninth day of the mirror wave spell falls on a World Bridger day. Here is an opportunity to cross a bridge. This is how we reveal the truth, or is the truth waiting on the other side of the bridge? This is what we must consider today. Death is a key word for World Bridger because in order to cross over, to die and become something else, we must make a sacrifice first. This is where the troll under the bridge comes into play. Pay the troll, make a sacrifice, that's the price. What do you want to give up? Only you can decide what has to die. You give something up for everything you gain, so pay for your ticket and don't complain. Sang Bob Dylan Today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, White Solar World Bridger, 9 Kimi, Keen 126, 8th of June 2023, Pulsing Equality, 8 6 2023 equal 8 6 7 equal 8 13 equal 8 4 equal 12 equal 3. Day codes 8 Infinite Abundant Source Flow, 12 Acquiring Strength, Spiritual Support, Wisdom, Three Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, Happiness. Month Year Code Six Heaven, Christ, Family, Harmony, Fertility. Thirteen Goddess, Cosmic Consciousness, Natural Lore. Four Form, Structure, Foundation, Angelic, Earth. Twenty The Awakening, Clear Vision. Twenty Three Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection, Support. Keen One Two Six Equal Nine Destiny, Service compassion, humanity, grace, a cooperative bridging and networking day. Day 9 in the white mirror wave spell of reflection, truth, illusion, endlessness, and magnification. Today we let go and let God, surrendering to the messages we receive from our true reflection in the mirror. Tone of creation, solar tone 9 operates in the spiritual realm, action realizing, power pulse, essence intention. The ninth day is the one that gives the last push prior to manifestation. 
The solar phase is where we wake up to the fact that our will affects the reality we experience. So we begin pulsing, extending our intent into realization. Today we are pulsing this energy through surrendering to the messages of spirit. We can flow with the current today, deeply connecting to all that is. So precious solar star bliss suns, today we let go and let God in order to invite in and pulse forth the absolute bliss and ecstasy that beckons us from beyond the veils. Today is a great day to die to yourself, stretch your wings and fly high over beautiful new horizons. Today's question is how can I totally surrender and let go to the voice of spirit? pulsing my intention out to bridge new wonderful worlds divine blessings for building the foundation of our new rainbow bridge to bliss in la catch a la keen christina white magnetic world bridger keen 66 keen 126 white solar world bridger the mantra the code for today is i pulse in order to equalize realizing opportunity I seal the store of death with the solar tone of intention. I am guided by the power of spirit. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us to be able to continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Angel of the Light, Julian Wedich, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Angel. We appreciate you and your continued support. And we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful to each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful prayer from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Aurelia. Prayers to the Seven Sacred Flames. The time is now. The time is now to turn on the light of my divinity. I now open myself to the river of love that lies within my heart. Let love flow endlessly. I now open myself to the river of life that lies within my heart. Let life flow endlessly. I now open myself to the river of light that lies within my heart. Let light flow endlessly. I now open myself to the river of peace that lies within my heart. Let peace flow endlessly. I now open myself to the river of joy that lies within my heart. Let joy flow endlessly. I now open myself to the river of abundance that lies within my heart. Let abundance flow endlessly, ready to project infinite grace and gifts upon my daily life now and forever. I now open myself to the river of violet flame that will purify me through my ascension. Here, O oh universe, I am grateful. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed Freya day of freedom as we call in the divine goddess Freya of infinite abundance and prosperity for all our good people of the new earth as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. 
Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.